Happy Tuesday, everybody. It's the After Show Show. I'm Christy Beggs, and thank you so much for checking this out. You can find it on my blog on ckbi.com, on Facebook and Twitter as well. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited when I woke up this morning, more so when I got to work and realized it was Tuesday, slept through the alarm. Yes, I did this morning. And uh, probably more so me turning it off than sleeping through it. You know, when you're half awake and you're like, that snooze button is real small, but I think I can hit the dismiss. I think that's what I did. So got to work just after the six o'clock news and realized I forgot my glasses. So I'm squinting at all the screens in here. And um, yeah, packed an apple which, you know, really didn't do it. So I was super happy when I found out it was Tuesday, you know, realized it's my one day to indulge over at Dr. Java's and oh my goodness, guys, um, lemonade, iced tea, homemade, so, so good. And then <laughs> a taco salad. I haven't had one from Dr. Java's yet. This thing is a monster. It's insane. So this will be like breakfast snack. And then when I get home later, Part two, I'm pretty sure, afternoon snack. So big shout out to Dr. Javas. Thank you so much for saving me today, because you did. Um, I wanted to uh, chat with you about two big days coming up with us here at CKBI. Us and our sister stations with Jim Pattison Broadcast Group are uh, going to be doing something pretty huge, pretty important. It is the uh, Children's um, Hospital Radiothon, the Jim Pattison Children's Hospital Foundation Radiothon, tomorrow and Thursday. And... <laughs> Hi, <laughs> we, um, we're just so excited to get involved with this and raise money and talk to the families and the kids and the doctors and the staff at the foundation about what they need. And it is very specialized this year. A hemodialysis unit is what we're working on. Uh, pediatric equipment for that. Everything is micro, everything is super small um, to deal with, uh, with these kidney issues that the kids have because you don't want them using our size stuff right it has to be for the kids so we're going to be doing that over the next two days if you want any information pattisonchildrens.ca has it ckbi.com as well and just tune in yeah for the next two days we're going to be uh we're going to be doing you know a lot of fundraising and a lot of a lot of talking with families who definitely need this equipment so hopefully you'll join us for that it's election day down in the states whether we find out today or tomorrow or in a week after everything's mailed in and counted up um we wish our neighbors to the south the best of luck. However it turns out, remember, everybody be kind to each other. And yeah, just we'll just wait and see what happens with that. Uh, moving on, <laughs> we, uh, we talked about National Sandwich Day today. I love this story of how the sandwich came to be. If you haven't heard, this is how it goes. As, as, <laughs> as folk folklore uh, explains, the fourth Earl of Sandwich was in the uh, midst of a 24-hour gambling binge when he asked his cook, hey, I need something I can eat with one hand and no cutlery, what can you do for me? And the guy toasted two pieces of bread, put some meat in between it, and the fourth Earl of Sandwich then said, hey, we invented this, and called it a sandwich. He didn't invent it, he saw it in the Eastern Mediterranean when he saw Greeks and Turks serving it with appetizers and told his cook, watch what they do, because I want that when we get back home. So that's what happened there. Funny side note, didn't make it over to North America until 1815 when it showed up in a cookbook. We needed a cookbook to figure out a sandwich. So whether it's BLTs, chicken salad, you know, whatever it is that, that's your favorite, those are my two favorite. Grilled cheese is in there, but I'm not allowed to make them for myself. I just don't do it. Burnt cheese is not not something I love. So happy National Sandwich Day to everybody. Um, we also talked about Text Off Tuesday today. When do you decorate for Christmas? Is it right after Halloween, after Remembrance Day, or early December? And most people said, you know, like a few days after Remembrance Day is when they, uh, they get in there with the Christmas decorations and getting all in the Christmas spirit. We're early December, um, just because I, I kind of really love real Christmas trees and um, brought that mess of needles into the family with me. <laughs> so now we decorate early December because uh, it'll die. It'll die if I put it up any earlier and there's nothing worse than, you know, pine needles, brown pine needles on Christmas morning. It's just not, it's not a great Christmas feel. So thank you to everybody who, who uh, chimed in and let me know what you do uh, for Christmas decorations on Tech Stop Tuesday. And uh, finally, I wanted to mention, well, maybe second finally, 
Um, the Yukon, welcome, welcome to permanent daylight time. Yes, they've given up daylight savings in the Yukon. So what they're going to do, and it started this past weekend, uh, is go with, uh, with standardized time like we have. And they're going to have an extra hour of daylight at night and then wake up a little later, like later sunrise. Which, if you've ever lived in the Yukon or visited during the winter months, I, I lived in the Yukon when I was 19 or 20 for about seven, six or seven months, June to December. And I came home right before Christmas, and that was good. Not because it's super cold, because honestly, in the Yukon, um, okay, minus 45, minus 50, but they don't have the wind chill. So it's okay. It kind of feels like it does here. It's the daylight. Even the extra hour for them now means that, oh, it might be light out until 4 p.m., 3.30, 4, somewhere in there. Um, and the sun doesn't come up, like, really until 10, 11-ish. So you get three hours of cloud, not even sunlight. You get three, four hours of cloud. So, you know, I, I wore sunglasses for a long time when I got home because they're not used to this, this big, beautiful, sunny sky that we get in Saskatchewan. But regardless, welcome to the Yukon. We're glad to have you with us. And all you gotta do is remember to Google what time it is in other provinces before you make a phone call. It gets awkward, it does, I'm not gonna lie. Have a, uh, have a wonderful day. I gotta get into this taco salad. My stomach is growling. Perhaps tomorrow morning, tune in. We're gonna talk about uh, the final thing that I was gonna talk about. We're gonna see how much money the, uh, the guy in Moose Jaw who threw a Halloween party with 250 of his closest friends and family uh, how he's doing with his GoFundMe page to pay off his almost $3,000 ticket. Yes, that's a thing. Have a great day. We'll talk to you uh, tomorrow morning.